What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net. So I just got back from Cavda, and boy was it fun, of course, obviously. All my friends are there, Pedro's was there, Cool Stop was there, a lot of fun people to talk to. I got to see some of you, which was also cool, and sorry if I missed people, I know I did. There were 32 brands that had e-bikes represented, whether that's a bicycle brand that sells e-bikes or just an e-bike brand in general. So that was pretty wild because there were only like 80 booths total. So 40% of the people presenting were talking about e-bikes. A big sponsor of the show and of the education was Shimano. So Shimano was there in a big way. They had all their normal stuff. But one of the things that they were talking about a lot that kind of inspired this video is cues. So Shimano cues is their new group set, or should I say group sets that they made with e-bikes in mind, but also they made with durability in mind and supposedly they're cross compatible with each other. Shimano's of course, touting this as a solution like, oh, well, we simplified all of our lineup so that you can have things that are interchangeable that last longer, it's less complicated. Of course, my first thought is how is this going to affect the mechanic and how does this affect the shop? Because yeah, you created a new thing, but it's not backwards compatible with anything as far as we can tell, or is it? And it generates even more skews. Great. That might be unintentional, but oh boy. So all of the parts that go with Shimano Qs and its various setups add 59 skews to Shimano's already pretty lengthy catalog of parts. They are not backwards compatible with the parts from the other group sets minus a couple of things like an 11 speed crank or something like that. And we're gonna talk more about that stuff, but for the most part, you can't use cues on a bike that doesn't have cues on it. And that inherently just creates even more part numbers for us to keep track of so that you don't accidentally order the wrong thing for your customer and have it not work. So the goal for Shimano is actually to eliminate anything below Dior 12 speed and just make it all cues. So cues is nine, 10 and 11 speed. It uses an HG free hub body for its cassettes. And the crazy part about it is that everything uses 11 speed spacing. So all the cogs are the same distance apart, whether it's nine speed, 10 speed or 11 speed. Doesn't matter, they all use the same chain, link glide 11 speed or an HG 11 speed chain. And they all have the same spacing. What does that even mean? So of course, I was trying to figure out on their website because they have a lot of documents and they have all kinds of stuff for you to read. And the person that I was talking to at the show was actually a sales rep for Shimano, not a technical rep. And they seemingly had no actual idea what was really interchangeable on like a sub consumer level. So I wanted to know, so I called Shimano. You can find dealer manuals compatibility charts, and troubleshooting kits at si.shimano.com. stech.shimano.com gives you access to training videos. Oh, I'm Shimano, this is... But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. So of course, they're super helpful to me, right? So if some of the big highlights are you say interchangeable, but what does that mean? If you look at the compatibility chart on Shimano's website, they don't have things just interchanging between the speeds, right? Everything with 11 speed goes with 11 speed, 10 speed with 10 speed, nine speed with nine speed. So what's interchangeable? What they mean is that you can use some 11 speed stuff, like you can use just about any 11 speed crank in the 11 speed systems which is great. So you can use a GRX crank instead of the Q's crank and probably shave like a full pound off of the group set. So I'll back up a little bit. One of the things about the Q's group sets are that they are incredibly heavy. Now I would love to put numbers to that, but Shimano in their big chart of all the specifications has a nice grid spot that says average weight. And what they did in that spot was put a lot of dashes so that they didn't have to tell you. So anecdotally, I have picked up a lot of these pieces and boy are they heavy. So I didn't bring a scale with me to the show. I'm sorry, I wish I had now. The only weight that I know is that the 11 speed, the LG 700 cassette weighs 609 grams. So that's pretty significant. That's a lot more than the typical like Eagle cassette weighs or anything like that now. So where they're cutting down in price or where they're adding durability, they are definitely leaving material behind. This is true about the derailleur, true about the cranks, 
I lifted a lot of them up out of the box. They are meaty. But if it's on an e-bike, I guess you don't really care. If it's on a different bike, you might, they actually do weigh quite a bit. So some important things to remember from a mechanical perspective are that the shifters and derailleurs all use the same cable pull. So you can buy a nine, 10 or 11 speed shifter. Each click will pull the same amount. So I verified this on the phone. If you have an 11 speed derailleur and a nine speed shifter, you can adjust that 11 speed cues derailleur to shift perfectly to nine gears. Oh my God. If you have an 11 speed shifter and a nine speed derailleur in cues, you can actually adjust the derailleur to shift perfectly to nine gears, leaving the extra clicks in the shifter. Oh, great. So in essence, those are things that you can swap around as long as the thing you wanted was the more limited number. So less gears for the less shifter or the less derailleur. I asked why they created so many parts here because it seems like you could make one shifter, an 11 speed shifter that you just limit out the clicks. You could make one derailleur and have it all just be cues and just change if you get a nine, 10 or 11 speed cassette and what the gear ratio of your crank is. And they told me that that is actually because the chain wrap for different situations is going to be different. So if you're going for that 50 tooth cassette in a one by system, or you're going for a two by with a 45 tooth cassette in the back, the chain wrap capacity of the rear derailleurs is going to be different. Now, did they have to make eight derailleurs to handle the additional chain wrap of different scenarios? That seems pretty crazy to me, but they did in fact make eight different cues derailleurs, even though hypothetically they all use the same cable pull and they all shift to the same gap on the cassette. So I don't know why they had to do that many, but it is worth keeping in mind that whatever scenario you're working in, you really need to make sure that you check what your max capacity and your speeds and all that stuff is going to be so that your derailleur actually fits. So between nine, 10 and 11 speed, they did kind of an interesting thing, which is they used the same spacing and that is the spacing of 11 speed. So they used the chain design from HG 11 speed. So all of the HG 11 speed chains fit as well as the link glide chain that they designed for this purpose. So all of the technology that they use in cues is link glide, so smoother shifting, better actuation, all that stuff is supposed to come with it, but you can use your other HG 11 speed chains because they are compatible. The only thing they added was actually the LG chain. So they have an LG 500 level chain that actually just comes in below price of their current 11 speed chains. So they said we marked it, we actually docked it down so that the, there was a cheaper option for a chain for cues in particular, and it is a link glide chain. This is not something Shimano said, but if A and B both fit, then what about C? So Shimano HD 11 speed chains fit, the link glide new chain fits, and have you ever run an 11 speed drivetrain from Shimano with a SRAM chain? Have you ever run it with a KMC chain? So that would have me believe from an untested and Shimano would definitely never say it would work, but seems like you could use another 11 speed chain that would have worked with HG. I would love it if someone has access to cues and could run a KMC or SRAM 11 speed chain on it and just see how it does and then comment below because I don't have cues in front of me, obviously. I wish I did so I could actually show you something. That'd be cool. But Hey, it might work, it might not, but science says if this one works and that one works and these are the same, then why not? Seems like you could use 11 speed chains from other brands and also have those work. I'm not verifying that, I'm just saying, seems like a possibility. I guess. So in essence, the swappability part is if you have somebody come in, they broke their nine speed shifter, you could put an 11 speed cues shifter on it. Now, the reason why this just creates a bunch of SKUs is that that cable pull on all of Q's stuff is not like any of the other cable pulls for any other Shimano stuff. So it doesn't work with anything they had previously and thus the simplification and the swappability just created more things. It's kind of like SRAM saying they solved derailleur hangers or they made the perfect spindle for a crank. 
just seems like we created more stuff. It might be good stuff, but it, it's definitely more stuff. Now, what does this mean for you as a mechanic besides making sure that you get compatible stuff? Stuff swaps more than Shimano says, but from a mechanical standpoint, is anything different about cues in terms of installation? So yes, if you got cues in the stand, you might just think, oh, and you could probably stumble through and get it pretty close works relatively the same. The chain sizing is similar to what we've gotten used to with the new 12 speed where you wrap, you know, the chain ring big to big, and then you add the links based on where you ended. That stuff's all in their manuals. Super easy to figure out. Uh, just make sure that you get it right. <laughs> kind of a, a strange piece that I saw is that the B gap adjustment is actually a little bit different. So with the one by setups, you do actually still have the plate of the pulley cage with the lines on it that you can align just like the 12 speed where you put it in two and you line up the line with the bottom of the teeth depending on what your max cog is on your cassette. So that appears to be there for some of them and the B gap on those is like 19 millimeters or 24 millimeters so it's pretty far away. So using those lines still works. But if you're running a double they actually have a nine millimeter gap and they made a special tool to actually determine that gap and make sure that it's right. So the TLRD200 tool is a little slider that actually inserts in the cog and lets you set the pulley distance. That little tool is super cheap. It's like sub 10 bucks on Shimano Direct. Just like the SRAM B tension tool, maybe it comes with a new group set or with a cassette or with a derailleur, but that tool is super cheap anyway, probably good to have around but the gap for doubles is nine millimeters on cues and they do actually make that tool so that you can get it exactly right, which is awesome. So other than those few things that are a little bit different with cues, this will be kind of reminiscent of when they changed the cable pull on Tiagra. So you guys, a lot of you probably remember that Tiagra, they changed the cable pull and so you could only put new Tiagra with new Tiagra and you couldn't actually mix it. That's kind of what this feels like. So cues won't let you use anything old. So if you have an old 11 speed Dior group set, you won't be able to sell a cues derailleur to that customer and solve their problem. They will need to, I don't know, get an aftermarket derailleur if Shimano quits making them or update their stuff to cues and get a cues shifter as well. So a shifter and derailleur pair would probably solve the issue for them. Just remember that cues is its own thing. And there's a lot of malleability in there if you need to have it. But other than that, it's just adding a whole nother thing that you have to keep track of as a mechanic. Well, there goes your social life. And hey, now that you know, it won't be so bad. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little update and I hope it saves you some time in the future so that you're aware of cues, that you're aware of its sort of finickiness, but then in the end, maybe eventually it'll just get rid of everything. Now Shimano says that they have road version of cues in the works to replace anything below 105, I think, or below Tiagra. Below 105, I think is the thing. I think it's Tiagra and below. They're talking about replacing with a similar group set that is all the same cable pull, et cetera, so that those are mixed into the cues family. They haven't announced that yet, but I think that's the, the trajectory. Sure. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Sometimes I put out these technical bulletins. Most of the time I do tool reviews and stuff like that. If you want to support the channel in any way, head over to neutralsupport.net. I've got swag, hats, aprons, tools that I make, uh, just all kinds of fun stuff for you. As always, hope you have a good day.